I don't know what happened. It's cool now, man. No drop frames, nothing. I'm up there. It's crazy wicked now, but I'm so sorry, man. If everybody came back, welcome back. If you came back, if you didn't come back and you're watching this on a replay or something like that, I apologize. I'm sorry, man. Like, that's why we're doing this, man. It's our third day streaming. We're going to figure this out. It's going to get better and better and better and better. And, uh, you know, the stream will get better. And, and uh, damn, it's going back up again. I don't know what's going on with my computer. I'm not even one minute in and I'm getting half. Wow. It's good? All right, cool. If it's good, then cool. Then we'll roll with that, man. Yeah, I'm back. I don't know what's up, man. It's it was tripping, but seemed like it's all right now. I don't know. It that bothers me though. I mean, our first day when we first streamed, like you know, I was able to do like s almost six hours of streaming without any issues, any problems. You know what I'm saying? And then. Um, and then uh, yesterday we had some issues, and then today, man, tripping. I don't know. It bothers me. But that's what the donations are for. We're going to make the stream the best ever, man. Hopefully everybody will hang in there with us, man. We're all family, so hopefully everybody will hang in there, man. And uh, I'm going to have to take my computer to... Um, Somebody who, who knows what they're doing. Really? Thank you, Crom. I appreciate that, man. Thanks for the check-in. So, okay, so, like, what I'm watching on mine, let me see if I can... Let me restart. And, uh, my monitor. Lower the bit rate. Okay, thank you. Yeah, the closest one to us is... Uh, San Francisco. So I use the San Francisco one. But it looks laggy on mine right now, too. I was getting, um, I'm at 2,900, 29, 2,500, 2,400, but my drop frame rate, drop frames is like 47%, I don't, it's tripping me out. I don't know, man, but you know what? We're going to do the best with what we got and keep it moving from there. Sorry if you're just joining the... Um... Nice. Yeah, I can see my... Uh...
Really? Yeah. Well, I apologize, man. Notorious, what's up? Welcome back. Thanks for coming. Um, you don't have to, but Notorious, if you um, if you hit the uh, follow button, every time I stream, you'll be able to like peep us out, and we'll be in your favorites. You feel me? You don't have to. But it would be cool for you to come back and peep us out and, you know, you never know. Alright, I'm doing a, I'm cheating a little bit, because I want to get this painting done. Yeah, like on my stream, it looks real, real laggy. No way. A hundred followers already, Crom? No way. No way. Crom the Beezy for cheesy. Wow, man. A hundred people. Wow, that's wow, man. We did over 103 days at this rate. At the end of the month, we'll be partner. That's incredible. hit the canvas. I guess it's all right. Wow, man. Welcome. Hey, thank you, everybody on the block. That's crazy, man. Like, <laughs> good looking out, HG. Well, the block Y'all did this, man. A hundred people, man, and um, over a hundred people, 107 people, man. Um, that's cool, Niv. Thank you for saying that. Uh, wow, that's just that's I'm thrown back. I don't even know what to say. Like, I'm like, you know, like, wow, man, you know what I mean? Wow. But it's the block, man. You know, that's the whole thing. You know, everybody that's in here, it's not just me, man. I mean, everybody that comes in has been awesome. You know, we've only had a couple of trolls. And, you know, for the most part, everybody, I mean, we just have a lot of fun. And, you know, everybody gets it in. And, you know, we just, we all want to have fun. And that's the whole point of this, you know, is to really just, you know, Enjoy each other's time, and, you know, I'm just grateful that people come through, you know what I mean? And this is why I be doing anyway, so, you know, it's cool that I can share this with everybody because uh, I've said it in stream before, I'm not that kind of an artist, you know, I don't I don't need people to watch me. On the contrary, I normally, most people don't ever, I don't ever watch, you know, have people watch me, stream, you know, paint. So, this is awesome, man, just 
but it's the block, man. You guys are, y'all really did this, man. So I, I appreciate it, man. Appreciate it a lot. We are a good, uh, it's a big family. It's growing. It's a good, good community, you know, so cool. 170, yeah. Isn't that crazy, man? Yeah, you guys are more than welcome to my Instagram, and uh, you can uh, direct message me on my Instagram, Twitter. Um, my Twitter is... Uh, There you go. Wow, man. Thank you, guys, man. Nif, I'm glad you're here. I, I, I appreciate hearing from other artists, too. You know, it was funny because as I started painting this, one of the first people, um, one of the first people I took it to was a guy who's an artist friend of mine, and, uh, we're doing a, or he's doing a mural. I'm helping. Um, this mural that's underneath my window in the park. And uh, I hadn't painted and it had been a minute since I had painted. So he knew that. He just kept on trying to encourage me to get back up on the horse. And I wasn't trying to uh, ride no horses. And, uh. So, it was real cool, man. He got to see the painting and was like, hey, man. Whatever was going on with you, man, for the last four months, uh, you need to take four-month hiatuses all the time, bro. And it just was funny, man. At the time, it was just, it was kind of funny how he did, you know, would say that. You know, just... Okay, cool, 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 cool. I will, 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 I will. I will. He, I will. <laughs> I don't know. It was funny, man. When I met this dude. Um, Okay, I will, Ox. I promise you, man, I will. Hold on. Let me let me do that now, man. Mm. Uh, hold on. I know what I can do. No, hold on. No, that's not it. Oops. I was trying to push N-I-F-F, -F and it was, uh, it was saying, uh, instead of N-I-F-F, -F, NIF, that's crazy. Wow, Nick. That's nuts. The sol... What is it? The solidarity? It, I just missed it. Who, uh, whoever followed, thank you so much. Solidarity, I think it said. I don't know, man. Dang, I'm sorry I missed you. Dang it. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Hopefully it'll pop up in a second on, um, let me re redo my, uh,
Niff, did you draw that? Or is that is that what the title said? Something coloring book or something? Is that you? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, cool, Niff. That's that was uh that's a uh, amazing, pretty, beautiful. And that's what it's about, you know, it's a community, man. All that play together need to share share and play together and just, you know, we just need to support each other and you know. I appreciate you, Niff. It's kind of like game streamers that get together and, and game together. You know what I mean? Fat Planet and, um, you know, Cage. You know, as artists. As artists, we need to get together and, and um, support each other. You know what I mean? Get together and stream together and play together and create together. Kawabunga Pizza, welcome, welcome, welcome to the block. Thanks for coming out and hanging out with us. Um, Welcome to the block, everybody in chat. Say what's up to Kyle Bunga Pizza. I know I missed a follow in there somewhere. Um, Steph, um, how long have I been working on Biggie? We started painting this, uh, not yesterday, the day before. So this is it. We're done. You know, today we're done on it. We're going to move on to something else. Uh, tomorrow I'll be painting uh, a new scene from the new upcoming Star Wars movie. It's going to be amazing. Nobody's really seen this scene, but I'm going to paint the scene and... I'll probably paint, like, Al Capone, maybe, or something. I don't know. It'd be cool to paint a scene from Star Wars, but, yeah, that's not happening today. The battery thing. Cool, I'm with it. I'm with it, Niff. I just read that. Kawabunga, welcome, man. Good people, huh? Well, hey, if the Niff says it, I believe it, man. Thank you. Come, thanks for coming through, man, and checking it out. You know, hopefully you'll like it. Um, Ox and HG are, you know, those... Those dudes is holding it down, you know, they doing the check-ins and pat-downs, but we appreciate you coming through, man, and just hanging out with us, you know, we're going to be painting all kind of different stuff, and uh, hopefully, you know, most of it's going to be hip-hop related, but, you know, that's just because I'm me. But you never know, game-related stuff, I want to do some game-related stuff, so that'll happen too. You know what, I've had this brush, this is a cheap brush, but I've had this brush for so long, all the outside paint is gone on it, like, I'm getting splinters using it, but I love this brush. <laughs> We've been expecting you. El, El Capone, uh, El Capone. Okay, Ox, I'm on it. I'm on it. What's up, Jamaican? Jamaican 
Shirt artist is back. What's up, Twitch FHBRG? I don't even know how to say that, but welcome. Welcome to the block. Thank you for coming through. <laughs> FHB, thanks for coming out. Welcome to the block. Thanks for hanging out with us. Say what's up to chat. Chat. Say what's up to FHB. We're going to get down. We're going to finish up two. Uh, Biggie today, man. I don't know what we're gonna do tomorrow, man. We're gonna do something fly. I got a couple uh, Couple canvases that are ready to get painted on um, I guess I could prep a canvas on stream, but I think that would be boring to anybody else besides me But welcome, I'm so glad you're here everybody here man we don't got donations. The NIF is donated to the channel. We got uh, GT donated 100 boodles to the channel already. And just, man, that's the kind of guy I am too, man. I love making donations when I can to great streamers and, you know, people who just really go out of their way for their channel and stuff like that, man. If that's, especially if that's what they do, you know what I mean? Artists, a lot of people forget, man. Artists, as artists, man, that's... That's how we get paid, man. Oh, you like that one, Kawabunga? Can you see it? Yeah. Somebody mentioned that the other day. Yeah, that's one of mine. It's not even done. It's been uh, unfinished for about six years. <laughs> Everybody... <laughs> Everybody comes into my house and is like, Oh my God, that's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. And I'm like... Not done. It's there, but it's not there. You know what I mean? But it's still pretty colorful. My homeboy told me the other day, he said, uh, hey, man, look, all these paintings with all these colors in them, man. You, man, you know, you're doing too much color, bro. We're going to have to, like, you know, only five paintings with color in them a year, bro. You doing too much color. I was like, whatever. That's the same friend that came to my house and was like, how come I, every time I come over to your house, man, your lights are off. It's all dark up in here, man. You playing video games by yourself or whatever. And man, I don't even want to go in your house, man. It's like you have a, a daycare for meth babies up in here, homie. I said, wow, daycare for meth babies. Wow, you really went there? It's crazy. My boy Will, he's nuts. But welcome, I'm glad that you're here. And uh, just hang out. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. We're just painting and um, trying to hook Biggie up. Just a little bit. Putting in some uh, highlights real quick. Okay, I, I don't know if this is true or not. And uh, I hope they don't. One of the... One of the first really expensive paintings I sold I sold to um, you guys would know him as the dad on the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air right um, Phil so he was one of the first dudes that uh, went out of his way to buy one of my paintings right and support me as an artist and when I say buy one of my paintings I'm talking about like uh, Uncle Phil bought my painting for a lot of money, $3,500. Um, I had two of them. And uh, he he just wanted one, and I kind of didn't want to break the pair up. And he offered me $3,500, or he offered me, I think, like $3,200. And I said, all right, that's fine. You know, I'll break it up, I guess. I can always paint another one to go with it. And when he came to pay me and pick it up, when I uh, just he was gonna pay me and then uh, bring it back up to LA, uh, he ended up giving me thirty five hundred instead of the thirty two that we agreed upon. But um, 
They are talking about redoing the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, y'all. What do you guys think about that? Oh, yeah, what's up, Steph? That's that uh, Japanese painting back there. Kyle Bunger, you're talking about um, the painting on this wall, or are you talking about the Japanese one, Kyle Bunger? Yeah, the Japanese one on the wall, the Japanese one is Peaceful Warrior. The one in the back right here, the colorful one, that's the one I was saying isn't finished. It hasn't been finished in about six years. Yeah, I, I figured, you, Kyle Bunga, I figured you were talking about this one over here. Yeah. But good looking, hey, I appreciate it, Steph. I, for real, I appreciate you, man, for real. Good looking, because I be tripping sometimes. You know, I get into painting or just thinking of stuff. But anyway, so yeah, that's, that's, that's the rumor that's going around right now, is that they're about to do a remake of The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. So... I don't know how I feel about it, so that's why I brought it up, like, you know what I mean, like, I mean, like, you know, it's Hollywood, you do whatever you want to do in Hollywood, but I think that would be a mistake, you know, I don't even know why you would think about remaking that, like, It wouldn't be a, there's no way, there's, n there's nothing that anybody could do, but there's, I, you know, like, I don't, to me, there's nothing, you couldn't be funnier than, uh, The Fresh Prince, and, uh, Will Smith, and, uh, what's his name, Carlton? Yeah, I don't know how they would, I have no idea how they would remake that, you know what I mean? But, I, no joke, seriously, all, in all seriousness, I heard that they were going to remake it. They brought 90210 back out. Sorry, I got all quiet. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Huh, Steph, for real? I remember that. Yeah, for real. I'm with you 150% on that one. I remember doing that. I don't know if you guys can hear the music, man. It sounds good right now. Mark Morrison. Yeah, I wasn't bringing up weirdo stuff. Like, I really, because uh, I follow some of the trades, and uh, I remember the other day watching that, that, uh, that they were going to try to bring that back. I don't know what... Um, Okay, also known, 
Good night. Get some rest. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming by. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> I haven't forgotten you, Ox. Cheesy Tips Raid. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Right on. Thank you for coming through. Lethal, what's happening? Alex, welcome, welcome. Luck, what's up? Welcome. Cal Jones, welcome. Welcome to the block. Welcome to the block. Beatles here. What's happening? Beatles is back. What's up? Welcome, man. Welcome, y'all. Come through. We just trying to finish up Biggie, man. And uh, thanks for coming by and hanging out on the block with us. Chat, say what's up to everybody. Thank you for the man. Nah, wow, that's crazy. Cheesy Tips Ray, that's dope. Wow, man. Wow, welcome. What's up, Beatles? What's up? Cheesy Tips National Anthem. I don't know it, though. Rebecca, what's up? Cassettes, cheddar cheese, multi-DVDs across seven world seas on your TV screens and on your internet ready, please. What? PCs? What? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Beatles. That's your national anthem. Hey, look, I need to come by so that, you know, I can learn that real quick because that seemed like that would be way too fun to do, man. Thank you. Oh, wow, Rebecca, thank you for coming through. Welcome to the block. Welcome to the block. We're just kicking it. Uh, paint Biggie Smalls and uh, talking about Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and just, you know, just doing all kind of craziness. So welcome. Thanks for coming through. Wow, I can't believe we got a cheesy, cheesy tips raid in the house. Cheesy tips, welcome to the block. That's how we get down. I love the cheesy tips. Sing the cheesy cassettes, cheddar cheese, multimedia DVDs across the seven seas world. Wait, wait. Uh, I messed it up. Let me from the beginning. From the top, can we have a... From the top, please. From the top. Cassettes, cheddar cheese, multimedia DVDs across the seven world seas on your TV screens and on your internet ready PCs. Is the beat off? I'm, I'm tearing it up. I know the beat's off. McPride's welcome. McPride's welcome. Come through. Cheesy Tips Raid. Oh, man, it's so cool. Absolutely, Letho, you're more than welcome to make me a dope overlay, man. That's That'd be real cool, man. I'm... I'm you know, it takes a village to raise an idiot, man. So, like, I'm down for whatever, homie. That's That'd be awesome. I appreciate you. Appreciate you. No way. God save our cheesy tips. We love sniffling cheesy tips. God save our cheesy tips. No way. Welcome. McPride's, welcome to the block, welcome to the block. Thanks for coming through, McPride. All right, cool. HDS, cool. Um, I'll shoot you my HDS. I'm going to hit you up after uh, on my Gmail. Hit me up on my Gmail, and then we'll communicate about that. Jimi Hendrix, hey, Luck. Lucko LCFC, welcome to the block. Thanks for coming through. I appreciate you, man. Come through. We just painted a little biggie. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome. You guys are all welcome to the block, man. Chat, say what's up. What's up? It does, boss. What's up, boss? 
Alex, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Y'all, thank you, Ock. You know what? Hey, man, I want to do it again, Ock. Let me let me run it. Let me run it one more time. Hold on, hold on. I got music playing over here. We gonna uh, hold on. We gonna turn this down real quick. Hold on. Hold on. All right, I'm from the top. Here we go, Ock. I'm gonna do the second one. Second verse. First verse. First verse from the top. Check one two. God save our cheesy tips. We love sniffing cheesy tips. God save our cheesy tips. What do you think? Did I kill it? Did I kill it? I think I killed it. I think I killed it, sir. I think that is kilted. That's all I'm saying is I think I killed it. I'm done. Where's my microphone? I'm done. Drop the mic. I'm done. <laughs> Alex, you're crazy. Thanks for coming to the block, though. Nice. Thank you. Thank you, guys, man. I am cheesy. I'm super cheesy. I'm the cheesy, it's cheesy McWeezy, like you said. Super cheesy. Don't trip. I appreciate you guys coming through, man. That means... That means the world to me, you know. We have uh, we have been all been uh, just having a good day today and just having fun and finishing up Biggie real quick. And and you guys coming and raiding the channel is just awesome, man. And uh, we will definitely return the favor. Don't trip. We are gonna return the favor. Nick gets the first raid, but uh, you know, thank you so much, you guys, for coming through, man. A G unit. Mick Prize. When I say G, you say unit. G. G. Hey, thank you, Alex. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you guys very much. Thank you. Come back by, man. Tomorrow, man. We're gonna um We're gonna do something. I don't know what we you know, we've been uh We've been debating about what we're painting tomorrow in chat. It's up to chat. Whatever they want me to paint. I think I'm gonna do an Al Capone joint, but uh, it's it's pretty much up to chat what the chat wants to do. So uh, what they want me to paint, I'm gonna paint like a good soldier, and uh, we'll get it in. It'll be dope. But you guys are always welcome to the block. You're welcome to our block, man. We got uh, HG and uh, Ox, they over here, man, they, you know, patting people down, and it's all gravy. Thanks, and I just really appreciate you guys coming by, man. means a lot, means a lot. Yeah, it might be Al Capone, Ox, I seen that, man. Wow. Too peasy for cheesy? Ah, uh, well, you know what, man? Uh, we talked about this, HG. If you can find a Tupac painting that hasn't been done 174 times, homie, uh, I'll paint it. You know what I'm saying? A really good one that, you know, I could put on a canvas this week. Alex, welcome to the block. Officially welcome to the block. Thanks for coming through, Alex. Alex on the block. Y'all welcome Alex to the block. Chat, say what's up to Alex. Alex, say what's up to chat. Thank you, welcome, thank you. Paint a cheesy tip. Oh, clan. Clan's in the crib. Thank you, clan, for coming through and supporting us, man. Thank you so much. Welcome to the block, clan. Thanks for uh, the raid, the cheesy tips raid, man. You know, um, I appreciate you guys, man. Thank you very much, man. Welcome. Welcome to the block, clan. Callan, Callens, Callan, welcome to the block. Welcome to the block. Come on through. Thank you so much, man. You guys are awesome. Awesome. H, H G and Ox gotta pat you down, and then uh, but welcome. You guys are always welcome and. 
I say it often, and I say I've said it in chat before. Uh, you can speak whatever language you want to speak in our chat. We don't care. German, uh, Portuguese, Italian. We speak. I speak English, so we won't be able to understand you. But you can speak whatever language you want, man. We don't. We we don't care. We're just glad you're here. You know what I'm saying? We do not care. We're just glad you are here. Thank you for coming through. I appreciate you. The whole block. You're the cheesy tip general. We're going to gangster it up in here. Can we get a cheesy tip anthem? Loved it. Love it. Oh, thank you, Rebecca. You're awesome. Thank you, McPrize. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Rebecca. Paint Biggie eating some cheesy tips. Just a cheesy tip right here. That'd be ill. You guys are awesome, too, man. Thank you so much for coming by, man. I just, uh, I've been talking a lot lately, so I gotta finish. I gotta paint, but I've been talking a lot, so I'm trying to paint and talk and watch chat. And my dog's over here sniffing my foot. I don't know what's up with my dog today, man. He's tripping. You guys want to meet my dog? Hold on. We do it every stream, man. Everybody gets to meet our dog. This is uh, our dog, my dog. This is the block representative right here. His name is Monster. Monster, come here. Come on. Come on. Come on. What are you doing? Here, come on. There he is. What's up, y'all? Oh, Monster wanted to show you his booty first. There he is. Say what's up. Say what's up, chat. Look at him. He looks like he don't trust. He don't. He looks like he doesn't trust nobody, huh? You over here singing the cheesy tip song? You don't trust no. I don't trust none of y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. He hasn't stopped staring at y'all like that. Look at. I think my dog's on Molly. He's the bomb. He's the greatest dog in the world, man. I can't even tell you. And Rebecca, I can't give you my dog. Our dog is the greatest dog in the world, man. <laughs> uh, to Lethal? Hold on, Lethal. Let me peep it out real quick. Oh, I just seen that, Lethal. Um, nah, just something cool, homie. You know what I mean? Like, I've got game overlays, but something cool. Sorry about that, Lethal. I was trying to keep up with chat, and then I got caught up. And Sorry, man. Clan, that is ill, homie. You just wrote that like that real quick, like that? Clan. Steffo, Clan, man, you just, you got down like that, like, man. You're illmatic, homie. I don't care what they say. Ill. We need to put, you need to put out an album, homie. You know what I mean? Don't let them tell you nothing else, bro. Ox is in Philly. Ox do albums. You can peep out Ox in, uh, HG is over in London. He got the whole London you know, lockdown. So if you want a, you know, you want a real professional album, you hit them up, man. That's how I get. That's how they get down. Biggie does have big lips, though. Ugh. I have big lips to get the sandwich shit. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Ugh. Puffy, bring me sandwich. 
Biggie, don't you think you should eat a salad? Oh yeah, I'll eat a salad. Put it in my sandwich. Why Biggie want us to put salads in sandwiches? Ugh. Ugh, I'll take a sandwich. Oh, read it? I'm sorry. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Cool. All right. You guys are videotaping this, right? I already... Y'all y'all are screen capturing this, and you're going to make uh, vines and videos of me singing it, but I'm, I'm going to get down. Check it out. I ain't tripping. I ain't tripping because it's, it's ill. Illmatic, clan. Biggie has big lips. We have cheesy tips. My favorite crisps are skips. I go on fishing trips. My dad owns three whips, and I drink my drinks within small sips. Dang, let me take it from top. Take it from top. Take it from the top. One more time. Here we go. Biggie has big lips. Oh, hold on. Let me turn my music off. That's what it is. One more time. One more time. Take back. Right back. All right, cool. Here we go. Biggie has big lips. We have cheesy tips. My favorite crisps are skips. I got uh, I go on fishing trips. My dad owns three whips, and I drink my drinks in small sips. Flip tricks. Flip tricks is now following. He's on the block. Flip tricks. Welcome. Welcome to the block. Welcome to the block, Flip. Y'all say what's up to Flip. Thank you for coming through. That's honestly Flip. That's my big brother's, um, that's my big brother's nickname. We've always called him Flip the whole time, his whole life, so that's cool. Thank you, Alex. Rebecca, don't trip. That's how I get down. That's how I get down. Jumans. Jumans. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the block, Jumans. Thanks for coming through. Appreciate you. Thank you for coming through. I appreciate you very much. Welcome to the block. Say what's up, block. Say what's up to them. Ox, HG over here patting people down, making sure nothing's going to happen in the chat. We getting down today, though. Hey, and the clan's here. Cheesy Tips are here. They raided earlier. You know, welcome. You guys come through. Thanks for coming by. Joe, thank you so much, Joe. GG, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome. Thanks for coming through. Appreciate you. I'm telling you, man, creative is going to take over Twitch, man. You know what I mean? This is this is the channel. This is the... You want to be on creative. You know what I mean? Nobody want to watch CSGO no more. We're good. I watched CSGO as soon as I got off stream yesterday. I had pizza here. I ate some pizza and watched CSGO for like an hour and fell asleep on my desk. But thank you guys so much for coming through. I'm glad that you guys are here, man. That's how we get down. And you guys are awesome for just being here, man. And it means a lot to all of us. And welcome to the family. Welcome to the family, man. Cheesy Tips is that one uncle that drinks just too much at the party tip. You know, the party, though. I'm with y'all. I like y'all. You guys are awesome. That one uncle that when you turn, like, 15 and you want to start smoking pot, you go and hang out with, with that uncle, that's the Cheesy Tips clan. You guys are crazy, but you're fun to be with. You know what I mean? Like... That one uncle that's just awesome, fun to be with, and the one that your mom's like, you know, no, you can't go alone with him. No, he can't take you to the Sabbath concert. You know what I mean? But come on, Mom. I'm just going to go to Burning Man with Cheesy Tips. No. No. You can't go to Burning Man with Cheesy Tips. Come on, Mom, I'm 15. And you really only want to go because Uncle Cheesy Tips um, has really good weed.
But I'm glad you guys came, man, for real. It means a lot to us. It really does mean a lot to us. Alex, thank you so much, man. Biggie was a big, big, big deal to uh, me too, man. McPrize, I already read it. I read it a couple times. Is that old? Am I sleeping? Oh, my chat. I stopped my chat so I could read it. I'm tripping. I'm so tripping. This is our block where we keep big glocks. The bullets won't stop until your body drops. Shout out Cheesy Tips. Their anthem is the... Oh, the shiznit. I feel you. Biggie, biggie. Yeah, I just, you know what? Yeah, you know what? Uh, the name, I, I came up with this, uh, the name for this painting uh, last night or the night before. This is going to be, I'm going to call this, um, this painting is uh, Born Sinner. Born Sinner. So, if you want to buy it, it would be available in about a month or so. We got to leave it sitting on my wall for a little bit. You know what I mean? Not too long, but a little bit. But yeah, I'm glad you guys came through, man. And uh, I'm glad everybody's here hanging out. Oh, thank you, Crom. No, Crom, you know I, you know I love games, bro. You know I'm, a, I'm a super, uh, you know uh, I'm a super gamer. You know what I mean? I, I've been a, um, I have been. Uh, big supporter of twitch streamers on twitch you know I, I i definitely support streamers on twitch and uh you know and 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 not just by following and stuff like that but i'm talking like you know donating and you know that kind of stuff i understand man like if this is your hustle and this is what you, you know if this is how you get down and this is how you make your money you know what i'm saying and i got an extra 20 on me man you know all i'm gonna do is Spend it on some Starbucks or something anyway, so I might as well support somebody who's really trying to hustle. You know what I mean? And that's where, if you guys look, that's where the whole um, twos and fuse things come from. You know what I'm saying? Because when I was a kid, younger man, I was taught by hustlers, real hustlers, that, you know, twos and fuse, man, that's, that's how you create millions. You know what I mean? A couple dollars here, a couple dollars here, and, and the next thing you know... You got, you know, a million. So, that's what it's all about. Twos and fuse, you know. That's how we get down. All right, Crom. Everybody go over and, and support Crom and stuff. Crom, we're going to come and see you, man. Thank you a lot, man, for coming through, man. Appreciate it. McBride. When I say cheesy, you say... Cheesy, cheesy. Hell yeah, hell no. <laughs> JF Kraken, what's happening? Welcome, man. JF Kraken. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the block, homie. Thanks for hanging out with us. We're getting it in, bro. Uh, we just, you know. Painting a little Biggie Smalls, you know what I mean? But uh, that's about it. That's all we're doing right here is paint Biggie and just having fun and hanging out. The Cheesy Tips crew is in here. They over in here. They're just, you know, taking it to the whole next level. And I feel them. I feel them to the next level. We got Ox and, uh, you know, the fellas over here making sure that everybody, you know, act right, you know. So, welcome, though. Welcome. It means a lot that you're here, too. You know, for real. It really does mean a lot to me that you're here. You know what I mean? Why 
Well, I haven't heard this song in a minute. Can y'all hear this song? I just want to get to know you. Come around. Thank you. But thank you guys, man, for real, for coming through, man. Sometimes I get quiet because I start paying attention and I don't know what I'll be doing, but I really do appreciate you guys being here. Everybody being here, man. Right on, JF Kraken. What's happening, man? Thank you. I appreciate it, man. What's UGM about? Uh, Urban Guerrilla Ministry, homie. It's, uh... It's a ministry I started a few years ago where uh, we go and holler at dudes in the, in, the, in the block and just where churches won't go. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, these, these people are like, hold on. You know, they, they say they, you know, they say they about this and they about that and stuff like that. And they might do some like drive by stuff. You know, where they go into communities and they do clean and, you know, they'll go into the hood and they'll clean up the hood and then they're out of there. You know what I'm saying? And they might do it the, the following year or whatever and stuff like that. My whole thing was, you know, to, to really spend some time with some of these inner city kids and inner city people, man, and so back into them and, and really like, you know, not just go and hang out with them for a day, but, like, really go and go and spend time with them. And I don't play basketball, but, you know, play dominoes and hang out and create relationships. Why clean the, the you know, why clean the community park one day a year when the whole entire community needs some? You know what I mean? So I started a ministry that, you know, develops real, um, what I consider real relationships with people in the hood and um you know and allows people to like you know put your money where your mouth is you know what i mean like you know you guys i'm sorry i keep on looking at the painting to see if i like this little part um put your money where your mouth is you guys say you're all about it and stuff like that well then be about it you know what i mean don't don't say you're about, you're going to do this, or you're going to do that, and, you, you know, you want to be a part of this and be a part of that. And and then, you you know, these dudes, you leave the community without really leaving the community with something. You know what I mean? Why leave? You know? So that's what it was. Just developing real genuine relationships with people who probably don't get that stuff. Dominoes, yeah, I play the heck out of a Domino's, man. Thank you, boss. I appreciate it. Yeah, man, I, I used to, uh, that was my job. <laughs> if my boys could hear me, they'd be like, it was. That was really, truly, no joke, no, all joking aside, that was my job for, for probably about three years. That's how I made money, man. I made money playing Domino's. Is that crazy or what? That wasn't like my job job. I mean, I'm joking. But I made a lot of money in like three years playing dominoes. A lot. Um. <laughs> and when I say a lot, I mean, I'm talking about I made a lot of money playing dominoes. But I wasn't nearly as good as like my homeboys my homeboys they started it it wasn't even me they started it one day i was just i went to starbucks to go get some coffee over in the hood i don't live in the hood now i live in the beach but uh i was living in the hood and i went over to get some coffee man and my homeboys were there they were like hey man what's up man t come hang out with us and then, and then, and then, and then. i was like all right cool so i started hanging out with them cats they say, hey, man, you, you play dominoes? And I was like, yeah, who doesn't play dominoes? You know what I'm saying? They were like, you want to get down? I was like, yeah, like, you know, I'll get down. I ain't tripping. And uh, they started it. They were, you know, next thing I know, I'm play, play hand for 10. All right, cool. 
And then the next day I went back and I was like, I was like, you guys do this every day? And they were like, yep, every day we up here playing dominoes. And I was like, all these people come through and want to play? And they were like, yep. And I was like, all right, cool. You know, I just started kicking it with them. You know what I mean? They're the homeboys. So I started kicking it with them, kicking it with them. And the next thing you know, three years had gone by and they were like, if you want a money game, uh, so-and-so's busy, so-and-so's busy, but you can go over there and hang out with Savo. That dude will play you for some money. I love playing dominoes. thing about it is, is that with dominoes, you just got to be able to, it's like playing poker. That's all. And then if the more you play, the more you realize how the game works and stuff like that, the more, uh, world's worst gamer, world's worst gamer, WWG, Welcome to the block, WWG. Come on in here. Chat, say what's up to WWG, man. Hang out with the block. Ox over there doing pat downs. HG's making sure that, you know, you ain't got no strap, man. You're covered. You're covered on the block. Come on over, man. Welcome to the family, man. The resolution uh, HG is, I don't know, homie, but we might scale down like you said, so I might change it. Um, hold on, can I, can I check settings? Hold on, I'm going to show you right, I'll tell you right now. Uh, 1280 by 720. Did you get that? Who lives in Nutcracker Creek? Walnut Creek? That's funny, money. I don't live in Walnut Creek. That's funny. What's up? Sprue is back. Sprue, Walnut Creek. No, Sprue, you over... You wait a minute. Sprue, aren't you... Um, You're in the UK somewhere, right? I.K. Skrilla. Skrilla? Skrilla. Do you know what Skrilla is? Skrilla, come on, for real, you know what Skrilla is, homie? Back in the day, we used to call money Skrilla. Or were you, like, trying to make a pun on Skrillex name, DJ Skrillex? I, I put money that you, Skrilla, what's up, welcome, formally welcome, thank you for the follow, welcome to the block, Skrilla, um, but I have, I have a bit, a bit, Mm, I don't think you know what, like, I don't think you meant Skrilla like Luke. But that's what we call money, my, you know, when I was younger, man. Yeah, got it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, G. Yes, I do sell my, uh, Muff, Muff Cloudy. What's up? Yeah, I do sell paintings. Uh, it's, yeah, I knew, I knew it was late there, Sprue. Uh, I do sell, uh, paintings, Muff. Welcome, Muff. Thank you for hanging out with us today. I do sell them. This one I definitely will sell. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to sell it for or anything like that. But, yeah, this one definitely will get sold. But, uh, yeah, thank you for coming through and, and being a part of this. You know, we're just we're building a good community, man. I, I'm, I'm lucky that I have some great people here. And, uh, you know, I'm just glad that you're here with us. You know what I mean? So thank you so much. UK hype, step foe. <laughs> Ox, HG, both of y'all can do links. I ain't tripping. That was funny, though. London's finest. 
HG is uh HG is from London. He's from uh um I couldn't think of a funny London joke, H. My fault. But I'm glad you guys are here, man. I'm a paint and tell me to back up if you want to see some more, but uh, I apologize if I'm blocking your view. I'm a big dude. Um, the community that I live in, it's a beach community, but there's so many people who... Um, so many people that live out here that, you know, like I got neighbors that claim that they're artists and stuff like that. And you oh, I'm an artist. Oh, you're an artist. Yeah, Tommy, you're, you're an artist. Yeah, I'm an artist. You know, and they're like, oh, yeah, I'm an artist, too. And I'm like, all right, that's cool. And then they were like, what do you paint? And I was like, uh, I paint what I want, you know, like hip hop stuff. Um, you know, I paint. You know, sometimes I paint elephants. You know what I mean? Like, I paint. You know, I, I mean, I don't, not to be, like, I don't want to be a smart ass, but, like, I paint. I paint. That's what I do. I paint. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like painting a crocodile, so I'll paint a crocodile. Sometimes I feel like painting Biggie Small. Sometimes I paint, uh, you know, um, uh, Barbie. Well, I wouldn't paint Barbie. I would paint Barbie, but Barbie would have to have like a grenade on her head. You know what I'm saying? Instead of a head, she would have to have a grenade and she'd have like zombies chasing her or something like that. And it would have to have like a graffiti theme. theme. So Barbie would be definitely rocking like some Timbos or you know, uh, maybe, uh, if she wasn't rocking Timbo, she'd be rocking like Chucks or some Adidas shell toe. We'd go old school with Barbie. You know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, so... But then I go over and I peep out their art. They're like, oh, you need to come see my art. And I'm like, all right, cool. And, you know, I'll give it to them. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. I mean, if that's, you know, if you can sell it and this is what you do, then and it makes you happy, word up. Oh, I'm with you, man. But I had one neighbor who uh, she did color uh, color crayon paintings of uh, <laughs> Ox, we're gonna get you a ticket to London. You go hang out with HG. Yeah, Ox, that's what we call it too, man. Okay, I'm glad. I was just checking up on, uh, yeah, like a Banksy Barbie, I guess. Yeah. Just something fly, you know what I'm saying, Steph? Sprue, like, just not something, like, that's the same, you know? Like, it would have to be just different, you know? I mean, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. Just, it'd be Barbie, but it wouldn't be, like, Barbie Barbie, you know what I mean? It'd be, like, Barbie, you know, riding... You know, um, Thundercat. You know, Barbie, Barbie on top of Thundercat. You know what I mean? Out of to be artsy. You know what I mean? She doesn't do it to be a you know outside of the norm or you know um, just to be. You know, she she does it because she smokes weed. She smokes weed and while she's high, she's like, I'm gonna play with my kids' crayons. In this canvas I bought. I don't knock her hustle, please. I don't want to sound like I'm pouring salt or, you know, at all. You know what I mean? Uh, I 
whatever your medium is, whatever you do, like, man, go get your money. You feel me? Like, do your thing. Sir V, welcome to the chat, Sir V. Welcome to the block. Thank you for coming through. Welcome to our block, man. We getting it in. Everybody say what's up to Sir V. Uh, chat, say what's up to Sir V. Sir V, say what's up to chat, man. Welcome, man. Thank you for coming through. It means a lot, man. Thank you for coming through. Niff, what are you looking at? Ox, that's what I'm talking about. Like, something like that is cool. Niff is like, that was creepy. I do that often. I'm sorry, Niff. It's called breaking the third wall. All right, cool. Okay, HG. That's what I meant, Ox. Serve, uh, serve i I'm glad you're here. In sync. Oh, yo, what up, Ma? Okay, I'm with you, right? In sync, you know. In sync, you black. I don't think you black. Sir V, I'm glad you like Biggie, man. I hope I'm doing him justice, man. If uh, you know, I'm hoping that if he came back, he'd be like, yeah, man. Good looking out. Good looking out till you give me a sandwich. You know what I mean? I. Personally, I think that's what he would do. I think he'd ask me for a sandwich, but. But we're gonna wrap Biggie up here tonight and uh, start something fresh tomorrow. Uh, I don't know if he's gonna be all the way done, but you know. It's all gravy. I work with them off stream and get them tightened up. And then uh, what I'll do is I'll hang them over there where that one is. And uh, when he's done, I'll show you guys on stream and stuff like that. And then before I sell them, I already said it first day that we started streaming. Anything that I create on stream. Um, Triple Overtime, welcome. Thank you for coming to the block. Thank you for coming to the block. Everybody in chat, say what's up to Triple Overtime. Welcome, welcome. Um, but I said it the other day, man. Anything that I make on chat, I mean on uh, Twitch, anything I paint, you guys will get first dibs uh, on the stream. Um, once I do put them up for sale, I'll hit you guys up. And, um, you know, if you guys, if you really are down and you really want it, then it's yours. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know how much Biggie's going to be. I'm not done with them yet, but whatever it is, we'll work it out. We'll work it out. And thank you for everybody that's donated. And just, you know, we're going to put that money towards some good stuff on the stream. And it means a lot to me. You know, those who donated, man, good looking out, man. That's. That's crazy, like, it's, it's amazing. Rish? Rish, is it Rish? Or R1-ish? Is it Rish or R1-ish, now? I don't know, but whatever it is, welcome to the block. Meet Ox, meet HG. These dudes is over there patting down, man, taking all kind of weapons, man. Welcome to the block. You are family now. Thanks for coming through, man. We just doing a little Biggie Smalls. We paint every day. About 2 o'clock in the afternoon, I'm an artist, so I'm kind of weird. 2, 2.30, we start, man, and we're going to get it in every day, man. Welcome to our channel, man. I'm glad you're here. Welcome, fam. Have I made that? Really, have I? HG, are you really taking pics? That's hysterical. We already decided, HG, that that's going to be the first... Um, if we ever get the button, that's going to be the first icon. You know what I'm saying? 
Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Spro. Was I talking about some girl, sir? Oh, my neighbor. Was I talking about my neighbor? Yeah, you know, whatever. I'm over. You know what, Inzari? You know what, Inz? For real, Inz. You are the second person to peep that. And for real, for real, no joke. I never seen that, and somebody else said that earlier, and they got timed out, but for real, I see it. If you don't see it, chat, don't trip. I'm not pointing it out to you, but for real, biggies, yeah, it does, man. I'm almost embarrassed, you know what I'm saying, but it's going to stay that way. That'll be our little secret. I'm not repainting that part, because I think it looks right. I think that looks like Biggie, though. I mean, I could change it, but... It's crazy. It's good that you don't see it, Shern. Inns is, is nasty. Inns, you're nasty, Inns. That's why. Don't worry about it. Oh, thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Means, means a lot. <coughs> All right, Sharon, want to see it? Madam, what's happening, man? Thank you, Steph. Claudie, what's happening? Bum hole on his chin? You know what? It looked like that, too. Okay, we're going to say it's an ass. He got an ass chin. A bum hole chin. We'll, okay, cool. We'll say that, then. He got a booty chin. He got a booty chin. We're going to call it a booty chin. But that's our secret, all right, you guys? Thank you, Ox. It looked like a peach. I'm not fixing... I could fix it. I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to make it stand out more. So this is the thing. If you buy the painting... You don't have to tell nobody about the booty chin. You can just like see their reaction when they look at the painting. Some people are gonna see it, some people aren't. It's like the Disney movies. Sometimes you see penises in them, sometimes you don't. And then later on, when somebody points out there was three penises that were in the shape of the Little Mermaid's castle, and then you go back and you look at it and you're like, damn, the Little Mermaid got penises. Or you go back and you look at, um, uh, what's the one with the lions? Uh, Lion King. And you go back and you look at Lion King and you realize, dang, the Lion King, Disney is the Illuminati. That's all I'm saying. So you can buy it and just be like, oh, snap. Nobody will see it until you point it out. You point it out, they're going to be like, Oh, yeah, he does have a bum for a chin. Oh, oh go ahead, Biggie. Give me to me one more time. It, it is a bum. It kind of looks like a penis. But I'll go with the bum with you. Oh, yeah. Biggie has a bum on his chin. Oh, did you see that, Gladys? They bought a painting with uh, Biggie Smalls with a bum on his chest. I mean, on his chin. 
They spent good money on a painting with Biggie Smalls and a giant, a giant booty on his chin, Martha. That's what our son is. That's what our son is spending all that hard-done money on. I don't know why the person that bought it is ethnic or why their dad is. Look, I highlighted it. Y'all feel that? Y'all like that? Now it stands out a little bit more. That's what you can do as an artist. I'm not changing it though. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it because all of us see it. And I really have a feeling like the person that buys it isn't going to see it. Not at first. Like... The check is going to clear way before they see it. You feel me? Like the check's going to clear. They're going to have like a dinner party. And have friends over and stuff for a birthday celebration. And uh, grandma's going to come over and go, oh, wow. That's awesome. That's a very nice painting you guys have there. Like that's, that's awesome. Who is that? Oh, it's a hip hop artist, grandma. It's a hip-hop artist. Who, oh, hip-hop, like rap music, right? Yeah, Grandma, rap music. Oh, okay, that's nice. That's nice. How come he got a booty on his chin? But by then, I done, you know, spent the money. We done, me, Ox, HG, the whole chat. We're at, you know, we went to Florida to go stay at Ox House. And uh, it, we done spent up all the money by then. You know what I'm saying? What they gonna do? I want my money back. You painted a booty on his chin. Sir Baron, thank you for following. Thank you so much. Awesome. Why is the chin broken to the left? Steph, oh, it's okay. Um, you can do either one, man. I use both, uh, Nif. Oh, I'm sorry, Nif. I'm sorry, HG. You can do both. That sounds like a challenge, sir. That sounded like a challenge. It sounded like you wanted me to put more veins on his chin. It sounded like you want me to make this stand out like a real... Why is everybody getting dirty? It's a booty. It's a booty. It's just a booty. It's a booty chin. Come on. Everybody knows somebody that got a booty chin. I know you know somebody who got a booty chin. Remember that one teacher in third grade? She had a booty chin. You know who I'm talking about. She had a, a chin that was like a, a booty. You feel me? I know you remember because you guys used to talk about it in, in um, on the playground. You guys would go out after um, lunch. You talk about like, oh, I don't like her. She has her chin look like a booty and not only do her chin look like a booty, but she always, uh, she got hair on that one mole. And so when she bends down to, you know, to help me with my lesson, her uh, mole tickles my the side of my neck and I want to throw up. You guys remember that teacher? Y'all didn't have that teacher? All right, cool, H.E., good looking. 
Okay, cool. No, sir, Baron, uh, I don't, I don't really know anything about Kim Kardashian except for she's famous for having a sex tape. I got 30, 40 sex tapes, man. I ain't never made no money from them, homie. Sure. A thick booty chick? Ox booties have veins? No. Oh, thank you, Stefo. Thank, hey, thank you, Stefo. It was great for you to come through. Thank you so much. I appreciate you hanging out on the block with us, man. That means a lot to me, man. Thank you. We'll see you next time for sure, right? No more booty chins. Yeah, you know what? Um, I know what I did. There seems to be like, it just, I know what I do. It's all right. It's still going to look like a booty chin, though. I ain't tripping. So it looks like a booty chin. So what? You know? So what? <clears throat> I think that's too, I think I want to. Okay, so really, honestly, what it is, I already know what it is, you guys. So what it is is that this is really supposed to be a shadow. I know, I remember when I drew this in, it made sense to me when I drew it, too. Um, he does have an indentation. If you look at pictures of Biggie, his chin does look like this. He just has a booty chin, you know what I mean? And even though it looks crazy to us, you know what I mean, I can't not paint Biggie, you know what I mean? Like, I got to paint him with the booty chin, unfortunately. So, I don't like this part right here, though. The Divine Artist, welcome. Thank you so much for coming through. It's good to see you. Come on, hang out on the block with us. We ain't tripping. No way. She had fat ankles, sure. Thank you, Sir Baron. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. That means a lot, man. You're it, Claudie. Oh, right here. You're right. But it won't look like that in a second. It's hard to see on the stream, but, um, you know, this one, this one, unlike the other ones, I did, I draw, I drew this one out, so... Um, I didn't want to like make you guys sit through like the whole, like trying to, you know, peep out how I, my process, you know what I mean? The first time we, you know, got on stream, but, but yeah, I, I, this is a, it's really what's under here is like, um, this is supposed to be a shadow, and once this dries up, it's still not dry. Once it dries up, I'll make it look like a shadow, kind of like this right in here. You feel me? So, it'll blend more. It'll look more like a, a shadow and stuff like that. I'm going to fix this right here.
I knew I had loaded my brush up for something. I didn't know what it was. I forgot what it was for, but it's right here. Sorry, I got quiet real quick again. I'm sorry, I was just trying to figure. I get quiet real quick. Like, every so often I have a pause like that because I'm trying to figure out the problem. Like, I'm trying to resolve the problem, so I apologize. I, sometimes I be like just, it doesn't, it sounds weird, be, but, um, you know, I'm getting used to chatting and, uh, and that you guys are even here. Yeah, thank Ox. Good looking. Sharon, good looking. I remember uh, <clears throat> before I knew it was a thing, I'm going to tell you guys, we're going to hang out for a second, man. I haven't taken a break. We've been on streaming for <coughs> four hours straight now, so we've only got a couple hours left, about an hour and a half left. Um... But I remember uh, before I knew it was a thing, uh, my best friend, I met this girl, beautiful girl. She was young. She was younger than me at the time. Um, she was probably like about four or five years younger than me. I think I was like 24. She was 20, 19, she was 19. She was almost 20. <coughs> I met her, went over to the house. And she was pretty girl, like, beautiful girl, like, you know. Um, but her roommate came out, and her roommate was a model. She was Italian, so she had, like, brown skin, curly, long, curly hair, like, drop-dead gorgeous. Super gorgeous. At the time, I had a roommate. My best friend it was the first time and only time I've ever had a roommate. Not because it was a bad experience, just because I don't... I don't want to put people through having to live with me. You know what I mean? Bad enough my children have to live with me. But uh, I introduced my roommate to her. Her name, uh, I won't, I'll leave everybody's names out. They started dating. And it started, you know, heavy dating. So it was like real cool. It was like me and my boy and my girl and her best friend and everybody was roommates. Then I remember one day, like, my girl called me up, and she was like, yo, you know, uh, she didn't say yo, she was very nice. She was like, hey, can you come over, and whatever, and blah, 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 I said, what's up? And she let, you know, the, you know, your boy broke up with my girl. And I was like, what? And she was like, yeah. So, it just was, like, crazy, like, I couldn't believe that he had done that, so... I didn't want to get in between them two and definitely didn't want to get in between me and my boy. So, I think I spent the night at her house or something. The, her roommate spent the night at her mom. She was heartbroken. Later on, I go and ask my boy, yo, mommy, what's up? You know, I heard that, you know, you guys called it off and whatever. And he's like, oh, yeah, man, I had to, you know, it's a wrap, man. You know, I said, well, you know, you know, can I ask, you know, what was up? What, what happened? Oh, yeah, man, um, she had big old ankles, homie. She had, like, ankles, like, her ankles were, like, this big, homie. And I was like, what? Like, I never looked at her, looked at her like that. Afterwards, I did look at her, and I found out that she really did have big old giant ankles, but I had never noticed them before. He noticed them, and he broke up with her. Because he was like, she got big old ankles like that. And she's Italian, homie. She, you know, she has a tendency to swell up. No joke, true story. And I didn't even know that was a thing. I mean, I'm a little naive, but... I don't think I'm a little naive at all, but... I didn't even know that was a thing. Okay, HG, I'm gonna peep it out.
That's fly, yo. That's fly, bro. Wow. Okay, so HG, hit me on my Gmail. You don't have to send that over, but hit me on my Gmail so that uh, I can hit you back and we can go over it, man, because that's ill, homie. Wow. Thank you so much. Would you do that in Photoshop or Illustrator? Wow, man. You guys, I don't know. Did you guys, can you guys click on the link? What you guys think, chat? I think it's ill. Didn't we just get one more follower? We did, right? Friends, you're here, friends, right? Oh, no, that's, that's the wrong one. My fault, my wrong one. Sorry, sorry. Wrong one, wrong one, wrong one. Man, thank you guys so much for the donations, man. Wow. One eyebrow. Sir Barons, one eyebrow. Welcome, man. Welcome, one eyebrow. Thank you for coming through, man. I see it on mine. I'm sorry. Uh, HG. HG, did it come up in chat? Redo it again. Real Here, look. Let me do it real quick. Hold on. All right, hopefully you see it right there. One eyebrow, welcome to the block. Welcome to the block, man. Um, I think I missed somebody, too. Did I miss you? Um, no, not Divine Artist. Somebody else, man. I think we missed one. Sir Baron, did I? I sir, you're welcome to the block. Sir, you're already here. But yeah, one eye, one eyebrow. Hey, welcome to the block, man. Thank you for joining, man. Family, man, means a lot to us, man. And um, thanks for coming in and checking out, man. We're doing Biggie Smalls. I was saying earlier that I, you know, uh, you know, we're gonna finish this up today. But I paint. I'm painting every day, man. Two o'clock, about two o'clock, two thirty. I, you know, we'll start painting and. Uh, you know, you're more than welcome to be a part of all of it with us. And thank you just for being here, man. It means a lot, man. For real, for real. For real, for real. HG, hey, you guys, if the link came through, I posted it. And I think, you know, once I posted it, it's straight, but... Please, y'all, check that out. HG just whipped that together while we're sitting here in stream. Like, that's nuts, man. I really appreciate you, Ace. That's dope, man. Uh, T-H-E. I, you know, what do you think, HG? We'll roll with however you spell it. I spell it the, T-H-E, but the block, the block, I don't know. I talk funny anyway, man. I am on the West Coast, Proxy. What's up, Proxy 2 Gate? Oh, um, Proxy, um, oh, thanks, sir. Um, Proxy... We talk about it on stream all the time, you know, uh, or the last couple of days, I should say. Like, for real, I'm not really digging a lot of new hip-hop. Um, every so often, there's an artist that, like, tweaks me or something like that. But for the most part, man, I don't, I don't like new hip-hop. I mean, and I'm a real hip-hop head. You know, I understand that, you know, hip-hop is supposed to grow and breathe and, you know, challenge people and... You know, I mean, there, there's a reason why hip-hop is the way hip-hop is. And, you know, it's supposed to change things and stuff. And 
but I just don't like the direction it went in, and I don't really like the dudes that are rapping right now. But you know, I did. I mean, don't don't get me wrong. I I, I shouldn't say I don't like all of it because there was a couple of times, there was a couple of things that were, you know, super dope. You know, I'm Millie, I'm Millie. You know, I'm Millie song from Lil Wayne. Um, Mrs. Officer, Mrs. Officer. That was ill when it came out, you know what I mean? But that, you know, I'm dating myself. That's what, like, five, six years ago, too. But I don't know. I'm not into Drake. I, I like Drake, and I will support Drake because he's mixed, like me. So, but other than that, he's, you know, he's all right. You know what I mean? He lost a lot of points with me with this whole fake beef that he did with uh, Meek Mill. But, yeah, I love, like, Real artists, you know, KRS One, um, Nas, of course, you know what I mean. Um, I'm a I'm a big supporter of uh, West Coast music, you know what I mean. Love West Coast hip hop, but I grew up on East Coast hip hop. You know, I mean, all of us grew up on East Coast hip hop. Even those that did West Coast hip hop, um, you know. They, they grew up on West Coast hip-hop, so... I mean, I'm sorry, East Coast hip-hop, so... That's how we get down, though. But, yeah, good question, man. But it is, it's, you know, it is what it is, you know? It's hip-hop, man. You know? What you gonna do? Like, we were talking, you know, Ox and a couple other people in chat, man, like, like, um, Abrax, Abrax, Abraxas, Abraxas, welcome, welcome to the block, Ab, I appreciate you, come through, man, Ox and, uh, 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 Ox and HG over there, you know, pet, doing pet downs, checking you and stuff. Man, welcome to the block, though. We really appreciate you coming through and hanging out with us, man. We just doing a little painting of uh, uh, Biggie Smalls and uh, trying to represent, give Brooklyn some love, you know. I know, Shern. I told you not to look for it, Shern. Yeah, Proxy, I'm with you on that 100%. Yeah, thank you, thank you, man. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Nas, Nas. True. You know what? People say that about Tupac Proxy. Hold on, I just read what you said. Um, like, Pac, because he used to... He uses music to propel change. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Akira? Akira, we've been waiting for you. Welcome to the block. Thanks for coming in. We're just doing a little painting right here. Just a little, you know. We're going to get it in. And uh, But thank you for coming through. We really appreciate you being here. means a lot to me. means a lot to everybody, you know. So thank you so much for coming by. Um... Real quick, uh, we were we were in the middle of talking about something, so I'm like, I gotta get back to it. But welcome, man. Welcome to the family. Um, they say that you know they say that kind of stuff about Pac, but you know, In Sync, In Sync did make it back. Come on, In Sync, come back, come to the block. This is where you need to hang out. Come hang out with us, man. In Sync, we over here talking about hip hop and uh, Tupac and. All kind of other stuff. I'm trying to paint Biggie Smalls before the sun go down. Um, welcome, welcome, NSYNC. I'm glad you're here. Um, but they say that about Tupac real quick, Prox. But people forget about like songs like Hit Em Up. And, you know, there's a gang of songs Tupac did, man, that didn't have nothing to do with uplifting our culture. You know what I mean? I, I, you know what, Kendrick? I... I like Kendrick, man. No, Kendrick sound like he got um he got a cold. 
He does. He sounds like he's got a cold, but um, he's a good dude, man. You know, I mean, there's worse out there. Come on, man. I like the dudes that were like weirdos. You know what I mean? Um, what was uh, Homeboy Thrift, Thrift Shop? Come on, man. Thrift Shop was the business, man. Two chains? Two chains was burnt, homie. Uh, what's some cats that do uh, the, the bird? The birds are singing. Ba, ba, ba. Them dudes off the chain, man. But yeah, like I said, I mean, there's worse out there. There's dudes out there that really think they doing something, you know? What's up? You back? Shern, what'd you say, Shern? Yeah, I love it. I, I like Eminem. Oh, thank you, Nip. I just seen that, man. Thank you so much. Oppen, Oppen Chan, Oppenie Chan. We're going to call you OPP. OPP, welcome to the block. OPP, put your hands in the air. OPP's on the block. Welcome. Come on into the family. Thanks for coming, man. We're going to have a good time today. You know, we're just painting and I stream every day. I uh, start streaming between 2 and 2.30. It depends because I'm an artist. And I haven't wrote down specific times for my uh, stream. I need to do that. Probably won't keep to them, though. It'll be like... It'll be approximations written down. Tommy Almighty will start streaming between 2 and 2.30 and will end between 7.30 and 8. Something like that. Thank you, A. A appreciate you, man. The Geek, come on, Geek, that's what it's about, man, come on, man, that's why you're on the block, come on through, man, I'll help you out, you know, you're, you're welcome to ask questions, and you gotta remember, I've been doing this most of my life, you know what I mean, so, you're, but you're welcome to hang out anyway, I mean, I just, I'm glad you're here, we're all glad you're here, man, you know, uh, don't trip, Geek, it gets better. It's just practice, and you know what, man? I wish I could play the piano, but I can't. You know what I'm saying? And I tried, and I took lessons, everything. I can't play the piano. My brother can play the piano, but he can't paint. I can paint, but I can't play the piano. My sister can't play the piano, and she cannot paint to save her life, but she is a doctor. You feel me? So don't worry about it, the gate. Just paint. Who cares what it looks like? Paint. Paint Biggie Smalls with all red. All red face. Cool, Keith? Right on. Kid Cudi? Hey, did you guys see Ox? Did you see that thing about Kid Cudi? Yeah, H-On, that's what it is. Serve, I know some weirdo hip-hop dudes. Yeah, totally. Tupac was an actor. I think he played that gangster role because it was what had him do an order. Uh, yeah, absolutely, Proxy. Yeah, I just read all that about Pac. Yeah, Pac was, uh, his parents were very educated. No, I know Kuki. Cool 
Yeah, HG, absolutely, brother. Yeah, absolutely. Um, sorry, I'm just going through something real quick, you guys. I'll be right back. I, I checked out mentally, but I'm still here. Obviously, I'm still here. You can't miss me, but hold on one second. I'm going to get back to the painting and chat in a second. I'm just peeping this out real quick. These are dope, man. There's too many, man. I think it's like one of the first ones I've seen, bro. I was like, yep, I think we'll roll with that. Yep, it's one of the first ones I've seen, man. Keen. I like Keen. What do you think, HG? You're designing, but I like Keen, bro. <clears throat> K-E-E-N. What's up, watchers? Spamming. What time is it at my place, Shern? It is uh, six fifty-three, so we got about an hour and about an hour or so left in the stream. Is he gonna play? Play what, watcher? What are you saying, man? No proxy. I just read that other one, man, and and uh, I think you're right. I think you're right. I mean, I think he did do a lot for our culture, you know, and I think he did talk about the important things and stuff like that. And <clears throat> it's like the Grandmaster, uh, like Grandmaster Melly Mel and Grandmaster Flash and uh, Chi, um, DJ, I mean, um, Curtis Blow of his times, you know what I mean? The Geek Slayer. I'm so glad you're here. I love, yeah, Machiavelli. Scoos. Scoos Stoner. Pox a legend. NWA. Shern, 353 a.m. Shern, you need to go get some sleep. Yeah, it's dope, HG. HG is dope. I'm telling you, HG is dope, money. It's dope. Yeah, for real, for real. Hey, Proxy, I'm, I'm feeling you 100%. Like, I'm really digging what you're talking about, for real. Like, you're, you, you make a lot of sense. You know, I just... Just so you know, you know, a lot of people like, you know, I've been a hip hop head most of my life and, and uh, I love, you know, I love, uh, I love Pac, you know, don't get me wrong, I love Pac, but part of why I love Pac was just, it, it he was just su super, like his music was dope, but this is the thing, I've met people in the entertainment business, I've been an entertainer my whole life, you know, I worked in radio, I worked in the field of radio for about 14 years, and I'm gonna tell you something, man, I done met people from all over, you know what I mean, like, artists that you, you know of, artists, artists you know of, that what they come off as is how their label has them come off as. You know, there's a conspiracy theory that, like, all these dudes is, like, really not hard. You know what I mean? And to be honest with you, there's a lot of them that aren't, bro. And uh, Pac, I never got a chance to meet Pac. But, you know, if you look at his first few albums and stuff like that, man, he did what his, you know, the person that owned him, you know, Suge, wanted him to do, you know? 
and Suge wanted to take over the industry, and Suge knew that sex, drugs, and rock and roll is what sells, you know? <coughs> but, <clears throat> so you get a lot of that in Tupac's music later on, but, you know, how do you go from Brenda's having a baby and Dear Mama to, you know, hit him up and this big beef with the East Coast, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's a reason why that happened, man, and all that was orchestrated by the labels, you know? And that's why a lot of people thought, you know, that was a real beef that was going on between them dudes, but that wasn't a beef between the East Coast and the West Coast. It turned out to be that, but it was really a beef between labels, you know? Labels was, like, losing money behind that. You know, their artists was, like, losing ground and... You know, they're putting money in their artists and labels and they're trying to turn out a product and make a profit on their product. And you can't do that when, you know, one person is picking one side and one person is picking the other side. That beef made no sense. But <clears throat> unfortunately, in the end, you know, as fans, we're the ones that miss out. You know what I mean? As fans, we're the only ones that really miss out, man, because we're the ones that, um, you know, we're the ones that miss out on the music. You know, the labels, they've moved on. But it tore Bad Boy, it tore Bad Boy apart. You know, Bad Boy went from being a hitter to, uh, you know, they had to send Bad Boy down back to the minor labels. Bad Boy ain't had like a real hit since and we all know what happened to Suge you know what I'm saying so Puffy just moved on with Sean John and liquor all right Ab I'm sorry did I miss you good night Well, hey, Proxy, you reading the right ones right there, man. Scoose, uh, yeah, you know what? Um, I, you know, I mean, I, I like, uh, there's a song Rick Ross does with, uh, Avery that, uh, I like, I like that joint. What was the other one that he did? Bowling. That was fly. Ox is burnt. Sharon, maybe. I don't know. I think Bad Boy might have done it. Maybe. I don't know. I don't think Biggie did it. I think Bad Boy might have done it. Ox, you didn't hear what happened to Suge Knight? Yeah, of course, man. Did I know that Malcolm X was a pimp? Yeah. Heck yeah. Come on, man. When I went to college, man, um, it was the first year. What? Who's here? Wait, wait, wait. Mo Kander. Mo Kander, are you here? Welcome to the block, Mo. Thank you for coming through. I appreciate it. Come say hi to chat. Chat, say what's up to Mo. M-O-L, M-M-O-L, O-P-P. -P. Is O-P-P still here? Are you lurking, O-P-P? Um, but Proxy, yeah, man, uh, when I went to college, it was the first year that they offered um, history from, what they called it, it was history from a black perspective. So, um, you could take history class, which is self-explanatory from a black perspective. And it was dope. And when I say it was dope, it was just dope, man. But I had already known that. When I was a kid, I knew about that, man. 
you know, where we live, man, the, you know, the NOI is pretty popular and stuff. And growing up, you know, they would come into the city from Chicago and try to recruit. So, but by then, people were over it. You know who the NOI is, Proxy? I said that. I didn't know if you even knew, though. Sorry. Sorry, Chad. I wasn't being quiet, quiet. I was, but I wasn't being quiet, quiet. I, I apologize. I suck balls. Let me see. Martin Luther King was a pastor? I don't know if he was a pastor. Um, pasture is like where cows go. And like, you know, there's, oh, where's, where's Uncle David? Oh, he's out on the pasture. Pastor. I'm, I'm just messing with you, Proxy. He was a pastor. Yeah, he was a pastor. Yeah, yeah. Well, and you know, Malcolm X was a minister too. You know what I mean? Um, he just had a different faith than MLK, you know, so... Ox, I'll tell you what happened to Sugar in two seconds. That might be, honestly, sure, and I just read that about the Illuminati, maybe. Shern, I don't know, man. I think Bad Boy did it. I'm talking about when Pac... Shern, I'm sorry. Let me be, let me clarify, Shern. I think that I'm. I was talking about when Pac went, walked into the rec, uh, recording studio and he got blasted like six times or whatever. I I do think Bad Boy did that one. Sorry, I do think that Bad Boy had to. I had. I, I don't think Biggie did, but I think Bad Boy did. I think that was a setup from Puffy. Hey, Stoner, Seuss, so peep it out. Go to my Instagram, man. Um, you can see that, you know, those are the homeboys, man. And, you know, I, I used to spend a lot of time with those dudes, man. And, um, you know, yeah, man, so am I. So, But you might you wanna, might want to peep that out. It's kind of cool, I guess. I don't know. People have been checking out my Instagram the last couple days and just think it's pretty slick. But, you know, they were the homeboys, you know, so... There's a lot of people that I met that I just isn't, they're not on my Instagram right now. You know what I mean? But I can put them on, I'll put them on my Instagram in the next couple days. I already missed Throwback Thursday, so I can't do it this week. Now nah, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Rep, what's up, Rep? Thank you for coming through, representing. Hey, thanks. Welcome to the block. Welcome to the block, Rep. Welcome to the block. <clears throat> Appreciate you. I'm glad you're here. Thanks for coming through. Means a lot to me. A whole lot, man. You don't understand. So, wow, man. That's so cool, man. We are doing uh, big things here, man. Just painting a little biggie and having to talk about hip-hop and... 
Today's conversation been about all kinds of things. Hip hop, booties. This has been crazy today in chat. So come on, man. Welcome to the block, though. Thanks for coming through. All right, sorry, my fault. <clears throat> Thank you, rap. Appreciate you, player. Thank you very much, man. Good looking out. Good looking out. Nation of Islam. Yeah, proxy. Thank you, man. I'm sorry about that, man. I think some people look to the east, west beef, to the head that people from the east, west street cred and kill pop. Mm, I don't think so. You're so funny, Proxy. Thank you, Rep. I appreciate you, man. I don't know, Sharon. I mean, <clears throat> that's what I'm saying, Sharon. Pit Diddy did, homie. Diddy still looks shady to me. 1935, what's up? We talking about... Uh, Hip-hop and just, you know, the whole culture. You know what I'm saying? Welcome back, 19. I'm glad to see you, bro. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank, thank you. Glad you're here. But, yeah, Juju's just talking about Biggie and Pac and the Nation of Islam and hip-hop and East versus West. Uh, we're talking about old school versus new school. Uh, just hip-hop stuff, you know what I mean? Uh, Shern is convinced that the Illuminati and um, Chief Keep Dad uh, killed Pac. I disagree. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sometimes I crack myself up. Chief Keep Dad. What if it really was Chief Keep Dad that killed Pac? That'd be funny. But, you know, I mean, I think you should think about it like in that battle, who survived? You know what I mean? And, and that's, you know, the East, West Coast, East, East Coast, West Coast battle. This is the thing. I met, um, what's her name? Um, uh, Christina Aguilera. I met Christina Aguilera when she had black hair. She was a Latina uh, singer. You feel me? And when I say a Latina singer, I mean she, she sang Tejano Latina songs. You know, like real Mexican Latin songs. She was like, really, she was supposed to replace Selena. And I remember when her dad brought her through... They were talking about that the label really didn't know what direction they were going to go with her. They didn't know if they wanted to her to replace Selena or if they wanted, you know, more of a pop direction. They had like an, like, almost like an opening for a pop singer. And so, the next thing I know, the blonde girl's on TV, she's doing pop songs, and... They're turning her into like, you know, a mini diva. You know what I mean? And I just was like, it was crazy because later on, she came through our studio and, uh, well, she came to a concert. It was her and, and uh, Destiny's Child at the time. And she wouldn't take any pictures and stuff. And, and my boss had to remind her, like, you know, we were the first ones to support her. And we were the first ones to like, you know, really like look out for her. You know what I'm saying? And, um, but she still was, a, she still was, I, you know, it's a long story. But, um, that was all the label's decision. I said all that to say it was the label's decision, you know, to turn her into that. You know, Amy Winehouse, man. Amy Winehouse was a completely different artist, you know, before her label got in touch with her. Um, 
matter of fact, some of y'all know uh, Nicki Minaj, you know what I mean? And Nicki, Nicki was a complete, she was like Remy Ma, yo. She was like a serious, hardcore Brooklyn, you know, rap, like, like not Brooklyn, or I forgot where she's from, but she was like a hardcore New York rapper. I think she is from Brooklyn. But, um... But they, the label turned around and turned her into the weirdo that she is. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's one of those things that, you know, that money, that label, you got to remember, if these dudes is driving Maybox and buying million dollar houses, you know, like, they buying 10, 20 million dollar houses, think of how much money the label got. Do you think Mariah Carey married that old ass dude when she got on the label? For no reason, she married that to keep her money in, you know, straight. Tommy Matola. So, you gotta just keep that into consideration. A lot of it, man, is about money, man. And I'm, I'm saying this from firsthand experience. It's about loot, you know? Oh, Ox, I'm sorry, man. Thank you, 19. Thank you, rep. I appreciate it, man. Kipper, babe. What's up, Kipper? What's happening? Welcome to the block, Kipper. Kipper, we got a new rider, y'all. Kipper's in the house. Kipper, say what's up to chat. Chat, say what's up to Kipper. Thanks for coming out, man. Appreciate you, man. Really, for real. What's up, Luck? I'm sorry, man. I'm doing gravy, baby. Thank you, man. Yeah, I think it's 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 odd that, you know, it's odd that, you know, it's never really officially been somebody in Tupac. And then this is the thing. So you Biggie's moms, right? You think, okay, let's just assume your moms. Would your moms ever sleep and be done with the case? Your baby's moms. How about that? Y'all have kids. If any of you guys have kids. Your baby's moms, yo. For real? Do you think they would let, they would sleep if the government said they still ain't found your killer? Don't you think they would just keep going and keep going and it would be, you know, they would just keep going and keep going? At some point, somewhere, something happened that they got the answers that they needed and that was it. And then they stopped. Biggie's moms, something happened. Something happened for a mom, a mother to like be just be done. You know what I mean? Be like, yeah, I'm cool. I'm not going to push this issue anymore. You know, especially under the circumstances that it happened, you know. Something's up. Dr. EAM's boy. Welcome, welcome to the block, homie. Come hang out. We got a new rider, D-E-M's boy. Appreciate you, man. Thanks for coming out, man. Appreciate it. We just painting. We wrapping it up in a little bit, man. Sun went down. It's 7.15. I ain't taking no breaks today. Um, yeah, man, Ox. Yeah, absolutely, Ox. Yeah, for real. Turn, yeah, hey man, it's 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 a trip, hon, that the Nikki style how it changed. I was talking about it in stream the other day, man. I, I almost went out of my like we tried to get her here, you know, and before she was big. Money is pointless. No. Tell money's not pointless, Ox. Tell Magic Johnson money is pointless. You don't you don't think if 
Magic Johnson had enough money that he could defeat AIDS, homie, when people all over the world were dying from it. Thank you, Kipper. I just seen your, I'm, I'm going through, I'm real re, real rereading chat, so I appreciate you. Thank you, man. That means a lot. This is acrylic, Sniffy. Sniffy Squire. Sniffy Squire? Sniffy, do you play uh, Hearthstone? I think I might have played you in Hearthstone. If not, awesome name. Welcome to the block. Thanks for coming through. Um, you know, you know. Make sure to follow so that way you can keep up with the paintings. We're going to finish up Biggie today, and then that's it. You know, we're going to move on tomorrow. We're going to paint something different. Um, he's not finished at all, but we're going to move on tomorrow, man. Three days on this painting. I don't think anybody wants to see Biggie no more. You know what I mean? We're going to paint Alfonso Capone tomorrow. It's acrylic, Sniff. However... Where's it at, Sniff? I cheat, Sniffy. These are uh, both water-based and oil-based uh, paint markers. I use them every so often. Fine line. Thank you, Sniffy, for the follow. I appreciate you. Welcome officially to the block. Man, welcome Ox. HG is here. They're patting people down, making sure you're going to be safe, man. Come hang out with us. It's a great place to just hang out. Welcome to our fam. Welcome to the family, man. Appreciate you. Thank you, Sniffy. You made that commitment. That's dope. Nuns on drugs. The painting on the right. Uh, I assume you're talking about that joint right there, right? Are you talking about that one or that one? That one right there is a boogie board. That's a chair. That right there is just another painting that I was working on. It's a giant buff Jesus. And that's, uh, that's Japanese right there. Wow, that's crazy, Shern. Oh, right on, Sniff. Welcome, man. Link chair. Uh, yeah, you can see the buff Jesus. Y'all want to see the buff Jesus? It's different. It's my style. It's not like this. This is commercial. That's my style. But I'll show you. Yeah, I just figured like this. Jesus was a carpenter. He walked everywhere. He ate healthy. He was perfect um, in every way. Um, he hung out with, like, all of his partners. Some of them were, like, dudes that carried swords everywhere and buff. I don't think Jesus was some emaciated, like, you know, some dude on the cross that looked like he was hungry. You know what I mean? I think Jesus would have been kind of swole, especially a carpenter. Like, he's a carpenter. I think he'd be, like, swole, honey, you know? So, and I think that's why they sent, like, half an army to come get him. I don't think you send so many people to come get Jesus if he's this, like, little skinny dude that's, like, 110 pounds. You know what I mean? That they you see in all these other paintings and, and, and sculptures and stuff. I, I think you send a gang of people to go get him. I think you send half an army to go get somebody who you're terrified might have to, like, Whoop all y'all. You know what I mean? Don't get me wrong. Peter had a sword. I think a lot of them had a sword. I think a lot of the apostles had swords. We know uh, disciples did. But, you know, we know Peter had one because he chopped off homeboy's ear. And then Jesus put it back on. Mm -hmm. You can hear. But, yeah, I think that's why they sent somebody because he's buff. But, uh, yeah, I'll get it real quick. You want to peep it? Nineteen thirty five, you think so? I don't think so. I don't know. Who knows? Nuns on drugs, he was eating, bro. Now nah, we're not gonna get into religion. It's all good. We don't have to get into religion. I just he asked me about the painting. <clears throat> I'm just saying, we don't we you know, let's religion is a tough subject. Like religion, politics, and salaries. Let's Let's leave those ones out. You know what I'm saying? I needed to stand up anyway. I haven't stood up in uh, four hours. 
It's bigger. It's bigger than the uh, bigger than puppy. But yeah, that's it. I said puppy. I meant big. All right, Ox. Um, HG, hold it down for real quick. I'll be right back, y'all. I'll be right back, fam. Okay. Hold on. One second. Sorry, yo. My fault. Ah! Hold on, hold on, hold on. He said he wasn't eating. That's so funny. Thank you, 1935 Red On. Oh, none said he's looking like, I know, it's so crazy. Hey, I just seen that, man. I, You know what? I swear, Era, <clears throat> my brothers, okay, both of my brothers are clowns, like clowns, man. And one of them called Jesus Predator, and the other one called Jesus uh, Bob Marley. That's funny that you would say that. They were like, yo, what's up with Bob Marley on the wall? Why'd you put Bob Marley on the cross? And then my other brother came over like a month later and he was like, yo, what'd you do to uh, Predator? Shut up. They're both stupid. Sid. Sid wasn't here. Sid did six... Uh... City Six, you weren't here for it. Um, oh, cool, they're having a kickball tournament across the street. You weren't here earlier, but it's not. If you really look at it, it's a booty. That's Little Kim's booty. That's Faith's booty. He took Faith with him. And you're nasty for thinking that's what it was. You're nasty. City did did it. City did six six.
All right, cool, 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 cool. I'm going to peep it out right now, AC. The Blizzard. Yeah, absolutely, money. Wow, that's so dope. Uh, that's ill, homie. Super dope. HG, that's super dope. Hey, can I, uh, I don't know if you guys can check out the link in that song. What I'm going to do is I'm going I'm to repost it. So you guys can peep out. I don't know why you guys don't. I have to. Guess I have to go in the nightbot and change that. But um, I want you guys to peep it out too, chat. Yeah, nuns, it's a booty. Sid, how come your name has two D's? Sid, this six. Is a Twix ad? I don't know. I know I got one of these. It's a protein bar. It's the Costco protein bar. This is this to show you that advertising works. I know you guys have seen this advertised on Costco when you're playing video games. Not on Twitch, but any other kind of video game. They're not mine. I don't want you guys to think I'm healthy at all. They're not mine. They're my son's. Nuns, everybody gets snacks. The whole block gets snacks. When we all hang out on what? This is Joe's bike. That bike's for you. That's insane. That's insane. So, So much more to do, but I don't know what I can do on stream. Um, I guess I can paint this on stream. I'm just having a moment, you guys. Sorry. I'm not used to painting like this. All right, Sharon. You could have smoked one on stream, homie. What's all gravy, man? Pull it out. Fire it up. Whatever's clever, homie. I did that. I had to tighten that lineup, man. It was terrible. I see the top of it is foul, too.
What's up, Waz? Welcome, man. Welcome to the block, Waz. Welcome in. Come on in. Hang out with us. Chat. Welcome, Waz. Waz. Say what's up to chat. Welcome, man. It means a lot. Thanks for coming through, man. Thank you, Waz. What artist got me into hip hop? Um, yeah, huh, Link? You were like, Link was like, what artist got you into hip hop? It started out nice, though. What artist got you into hip hop? Sorry, I don't mean to scream at y'all. It's funny. That'd be an awesome. Sniffy, for real, for real, that's a good idea, man. Nuns on drugs. Honestly, nuns, for real? I mean, think about it, man. Jesus laughing, he had to have laughed. I mean, I gotta, you know what, I'm gonna look that up. I wonder if, in the, I gotta look up in the Bible. We gotta go by the Bible. I don't know if the Bible says that Jesus was laughing. But I'm gonna look that up, man. I don't ever remember anybody telling me Jesus was laughing, but he had to. God made humor, right? Jesus had to have been, you know. Come on, all that time that he walked around with his, his boys and stuff, they had to have, uh, somebody had to be funny. Or was it just always serious? I don't know. I don't know. I gotta look that up. I, you know what? It's funny, man. Being a comedian, I've never ever looked that up. I used to do a lot of Jesus jokes, and then uh, now I don't. <laughs> That's the best way to put it. I did, and then all of a sudden, uh, I don't. Jesus jokes as a comic. Jesus jokes as a comic is easy. And they're fun, funny, and, you know, at the time they were funny, and they're not to me anymore, but at the time they were very funny, and, um, uh, it's a trick, man, because, uh, <laughs> they're easy, easy joke, easy, joke, Jesus jokes are easy jokes, like, that's like fart jokes, fart jokes are all funny. What artist got me into hip-hop? Um... Yeah, don't, sure, don't get in trouble. Um, sure, you are burnt, bro. I'll tell you, I'll tell you about a time that I bombed on stage. Who's the artist that got me into hip hop? Uh, um, Um, really, it wasn't an artist. It was a DJ. Um, it was either Melly Mel or Red Alert. But I remember um, we would all go up to the attic on Sunday nights and listen to music because you could get the Chicago station when the winds were right. And the stereo was a long stereo, about this long, and it had an eight-track player on it. And uh, it was it was it was uh, top of the line though because you could record eight tracks too. Uh, but I remember we go up in the attic, turn on this one station that we could get, and I remember uh, back then it was a lot of Chicago house music. And um, one night they came on, there was a special DJ in from New York, and uh, he started playing like disco, and he started playing like disco and jazz, and he would do like jazz breaks, and he would just keep doing it over and over and over, so the break would be like, you know, where the chorus would come in, he would do something different on the chorus, he would use another record on the chorus, and then he'd go back into the regular record, and I remember thinking to myself, 
man, that's brilliant. How come nobody ever mixed two records together? Like, that's smart. Like, you're making, you're taking well, this record and taking this record, these two great songs, and now you're mixing them, and now you have a whole different song, and it's freaking awesome. It's dope. It's off the chain. So that's what it was. It was an artist that, it was a, a DJ. And, but I think, I want to say it was Red Alert. It couldn't have been Red Alert, but maybe uh, Melly Mel or Grandmaster Flash. Maybe it was Flash. Um, it might have been Grandmaster Flash, but I was young, man. I was real young, probably like nine or ten. It was a trip. So, uh, let me see. See, tell me about the first time or just a time that I bombed on stage. Justin Bieber diet, it did not die. Welcome, dies. Hey, you guys, did you guys know this die was here? Guy, you've been lurking. Thanks for coming through, man. No, I like Justin Bieber. She's she's cute. You know, Justin Bieber is cute. You know what I mean? Um, I would have never asked her out on a date, but she's cute. Especially with her fly little haircut and tattoos now. She's fine. Um... The worst one? Man. There's been so many. Um, my mom was a social worker. She worked for the city of Saint, uh, city of Saint Paul, Minnesota, at the time. They had a uh, they had a thing where they were doing a big, huge, not convention, but uh, I don't know what you would call it. Like uh, it wasn't a convention, but there was like this huge like thing where like a bunch of social workers from all over the state were getting together. But it wasn't just them; it was their clients and bosses and bunch of companies and stuff like that so she asked if I could do some stand-up and uh, I was probably like 16 and uh, by then I had been doing stand-up for probably about eight or nine months and um, I went and I went up there and it was gonna be like one of my first paid gigs and I went up there and I started telling jokes, and um, my jokes, especially for a 16-year-old, were a whole nother level. Like, all I was, I, all I talked about was uh, getting high, eating White Castles, uh, poop, pooping, but I didn't use that word, uh, penises, the first time I had sex with a stuttering girl, um... All kind of other stuff, and I think all these people kind of were got out a little bit that it was, you know, it was Carol's son, you know what I mean? And they were all just staring at me like this, like not only crickets, but it's crazy when your mom's staring at you with that just that look of like, I'm gonna kill you when you get off the stage, right? But her boss was on the wings. And he had to, like, physically, not physically, but he had to, like, ask me to get off stage. And uh, I just remember, as soon as I got off stage, I wanted to run. But at the same time, I wanted my check. So I couldn't leave. And I just was like, I had reserved, like, I knew I was going to get it from my mom's. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, and her friends, like, my mom's friends were, like, family friends, like, they came to the house all the time and had coffee and hung out and stuff like that. So all the her co-workers and stuff were really her friends. So I knew I was going to get it from all of them. And I just, you know, I just chalked it up and was like, you know, that's what's going to happen. You know, I ain't tripping, you know, but. Uh, um, and they paid me. I still got my 130 bucks, something like that. Yeah, but it was so bad, man. It was so bad. And I got a whooping. I think I got a whooping. I got grounded. 
I don't think my mom let me go do stand up for probably two months. All right, all right, eight. Thank you, Die. My girl Nancy Castro. Chargers played the Cowboys today. Must be preseason. The event, Sniffy, was. Uh, Nifter, I don't know what that is. That's crazy, though. <laughs> That's a real story. That's a real story. You really want to hear that story? I got, we got about three or four minutes, and then we're going to wrap up chat. We'll wait. Matter of fact, we're going to wrap up chat as soon as um, HGS comes back. I think HGS is just working, but we'll wrap up chat after that. That's a real story. Look, okay, look. Sniffy, what do you got to do tomorrow? Can you come through tomorrow, man? I want I want to like I want to tell the whole chat the story cuz that's a good story. Just remind me um remind me of the story. That's a money. That's a crazy story and it's funny because I've been telling that story since I was like 15 years old and my whole entire career Whenever I get a chance to tell stand-up, it's one of the things... I've always told that story. It's changed over the years and grown and loses pieces and gains pieces and stuff like that. But the premise of it is always the same because it's a freaking true story. I had sex with the stuttering girl and it was off the chain. Um, well, part of it. Some mm, That's what I'm saying, Sniff. You got to come back tomorrow. Can you come back tomorrow? Okay, cool, 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 cool. No, nah, you know what? I mean, it's just getting dark here. I can't paint anymore. Um, I mean, I could, but it's too dark. I'm going to let you guys see Biggie for one last chance. Hold on, hold on. You guys get how I did that? Biggie, 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 one last chance. Cool? You see Biggie in my belly. For a second there, I got, see that? See that? That's what this is. I don't know what that was. I'm sorry, for a second there, I wanted you guys to see Biggie and then I turned and looked and I can see me talking about what I was talking about before. I move my hands a lot. That's the trip. No, she didn't bite it, Sniff. She didn't bite it, brother. Uh, die. you want me to rap? No, she didn't yell that out, bro. Mm -mm. But she said my name. That's not part of the joke, but that's funny. She did. She would call me trying to be sexy. Hey, hey, Tommy. What? Spit it out, woman. Got time for this? But I'll tell you the story, man. Now you guys got me thinking about her. That's crazy. That she was, she was cool. She was honestly, she was a pretty nice girl. She ended up being crazy later on in the end. And but there's more to the story than the fact that she stuttered and we had sex. It's a great joke. It's a great bit. Trip. Niff, 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 niff. Ooh we niff.
Nice. That's what I'm saying. HG, that's it, man. Picasso with nude boobies. All right, 1935, we're going to wrap up the, the stream anyway, man. Nifter, thank you so much. We're all going to go over to Nifter's channel. Everybody um, log in and go see Nifter. Hold on. We're going to go all go. Nifter, are you online right now? You streaming? You streaming, Nif? Let's go over to Nifter. I knew I was like, what? Is that for you? Is that you, Nip? Did I spell it right? I did, huh? So everybody, we're gonna go over to Nifter's channel and raid her real quick because she's the business. Um, Before we get out of here though, real quick, before we do that, don't raid yet. I just want to thank you guys so much for coming through and uh, peeping me and Biggie's out. We're going to do another painting tomorrow. Um, uh, I've seen what was in chat. I think Oz, Ox, and um, HG, we picked. Uh, I think chat pretty much picked it, right? Al Capone, we're going to do an Al Capone piece. It probably, I don't know if it's going to be this big, but we'll do we'll do a pretty big one. Or Michael Jackson. I don't know. I don't know. We'll do something. We'll make it dope, though. And uh, But thank you guys so much for coming out. Thank you for all the donations. The donations mean a lot to me, man. And uh, I can't believe that, uh, you know, after three days, man, our, our block, our family is blowing up. It's getting big. And you guys, I mean, not only the followers are incredible. I mean, the follow. It's crazy. Um, the views are off the chain. And then on top of it, all the fam that we got, we even got rated today and it's day three. You know what I'm saying? Day three and we got rated. You know what I mean? So that means a lot to me. So thank you guys so much for coming out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, that's it, man. That's it. That's the stream. Go over to NIFS. Go over to Nips and uh, love you guys. See you tomorrow. Make sure you say your prayers, brush your teeth, and uh, and thank you to uh, Ox and HG. Congratulations, HG, but thank you guys so much. And HG, hit me up on my Gmail, man, and thank you so much for the overlay, man. Thank you, Di. Okay, cool, cool. Thanks, Sharon. <laughs> All right, Ox, let's go raid. Let's go raid, Nip. Let's go. Time to go raid, Nip. 